Welcome to the winners' enclosure at Hollywood Beach Kenilworth. We've just seen the running of race two, Cape Racing Sales Juvenile Plate, over 1,200 meters, run by Munay Vino Kamakazi. You followed the stable companions, and I think at the end, maybe the, the three kilos made an advantage, um, gave you a good chance. Yes, Ems, I think it did. Um, first time at the Aran, I think it was in the luck. She ran, she ran quite a good race first time. On. But yeah, the three kilos did make a huge difference. I just sat behind my, my stable companion. And I was just, I was just sort of halfway through the race, she sort of battled a bit. I just had to help her. But when I really, when I asked her to come, let's get going now, she got going. But she took a bit of time. But when she got going, she won a good race today. Yeah, hopefully that probably go on from here. There'll be a bit of form out. It looks like some, some nice form in the race, and she will go on from here. No, definitely. She even go further, you know. I mean, she, she gave me a nice feel first time. So, like I said, she'll go further. It was a good win for her today. Morning, playing a bit there, but. Yeah, and I am MJ. We haven't raced for a while, so yeah. So it's well done to Kenneth and well done to Mars and others. Thank you. So it's not just the horses that's underworked, the jockey's also a little bit under pressure. I think so as well. It's fully trained by Candace Bass. Candace started off a nice day. Um, Mona said that she improved nicely and she should go on. She did more. Uh calling you Mona, MJ. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect from her today. I was very surprised with her run first time out. She doesn't show a lot at home at all. Um, and her half-brother won the other day as a three-year-old over 2-4, two th two I think it was. So um, I thought she probably would be looking for further. I still think she is looking for more ground. But obviously that first run wasn't a fluke. And, uh, you know, she, she did really nicely today. Um, I thought Mona ran a great race on her. He, he sat a little bit off the pace. And uh, she finished off very nicely today. And as I say, she is going to go further. So... You know, hopefully, she's, she's always been a very athletic filly. I think that was probably the reason why we bought her at the sale. She wasn't, she was a very light filly at the sale, but um, a very athletic filly. And, uh, you know, I think if she continues in this vein, then uh, she'll be quite a nice filly. Okay, and this is going, does definitely help the fillies or the horses with the, that's going to look for a little bit of ground. So definitely assist, assisted her. I think so. So I'll have to follow with a more closely eye her now um, after this. And uh, as I say, well done to, to Rod, who's overseas in Italy. Uh, Marsh, I haven't had a, um, I'm sure Marsh will be very happy that he's, he's had a winner. It's been a little bit lean for the last while, he'll tell you. So well done to him. And uh, who else have we got? Rod Marsh and Gary Lemke. Nice for him too. He's, he's been, hasn't been well, so I hope this uh, brings a little bit of joy to his life right now. Again, this has been a bit of banter about Philippi going 8-1 eight, eight, or something last meeting, but started off well, so hoping you can... I hope so, MJ. It's, it's been very difficult for all of us at Milnerton to try and get horses work the way we need to work them. Um, it's not been easy. Uh, just even last week, no tracks again last week. I think we've just started again on Monday, so hopefully things improve and hopefully most of the rain has stayed away and we can get things done like we should. Kenneth, well done. Thanks very much. And yeah, let's hope the sun stays stays out. That's Kamikaze has won the first race affiliate of Captain Al by Cesar May for Marsha Itliv, Gary Frimke and Rob Matheson. Very nice winner of the first race is Hollywood Pets Kenworth. Second race, sorry. We're going to the replay of race two.